Good afternoon, you're watching Trams TV. I'm joined here with Liam Giles, first team manager, Corey FC. Right. Frustrating game today, mate. What are your thoughts? It, it's a difficult game to sum up, really. Did the better team win? I don't know, I think that they had really three clear-cut, well, two clear-cut chances. They scored them on the back of poor defending or a mistake from us. The second goal, uh, for, from my from my angle, was a clear foul on Zach Powell. Mm. Um, the lad's come in, he's, he's lent on him. Obviously, Zach's gone down and they've played, gone forward and scored. Um, disappointed. Um, you know, it was a massive game today. Mm. You know, they've they've now extended their lead to the top. They've extended their lead at the top of the table. But you know, it's we we can't let it get us down. We need to go again. Um, we've got a game Wednesday night. Obviously, we haven't got a league game next Saturday. But then we've got Rustall at home, which ultimately is a massive, massive game now. Um, we need to start getting points on the board. Um, because we don't want to have, you know, Elmstead and the Homesdale start taking the lead on us and us having to play catch up. So, yeah, it's frustrating. It really, is frustrating. But we will we'll go again. As you say, Liam Russell is the next game. They did actually drop points today. Brighton Ropes. They, they yeah. lost. Yeah. Surprisingly. Yeah, very surprisingly for me. Russell was my tip at the start of the year, mm. along with ourselves, to be up there. Today, I said to the lads before I even saw the result, Rustall, at the end of the game, you know, Rustall would have won today, they would have gone above us. But, but when I got up into the clubhouse to see they'd lost, I was very surprised. Um, Brighton Ropes, you know, we went there and they played some good stuff, but they were very young, very naive. And I'm very surprised by that, but it goes to show when you look at the, some of the other results today, you know, Rochester lost. <laughs> anyone can beat anyone at this level of football, and that is, you know, and that's what we keep saying to the lads. I believe we've got by far the strongest squad in the league, by far, but, you know, it, it's not the best squad, it's the tip people who want it the most on the day, and consistency, mm -hmm. and we're far too inconsistent, far too inconsistent. Tuesday night at Molesley, we, was, we were superb when we went a goal down, you know, if that went extra time up, we would have won the game, I believe, but mm -hmm. today we just, you know, at 2-1, Conrad's had that header, the keeper's pulled off a weldy. You know, a great save, and that's what's won in the game. Forget the, <laughs> forget the penalty at the end, you know, but that pen, that save from the header, you know, it was it was unbelievable. Talk to and that's the difference, you know. So, yeah. And a few few new signings Liam this week, a few comings and goings as well. Yeah. So um, we brought in Zach Powell, who was at Hamworth Villa. I played with him at Hawley. Great engine, um, good on the ball, passionate, grafter, um, great asset. Um, Martin Smith. Again, played with him at Banstead, um, prolific goal scorer, you know, mm. works hard, honest bloke, you know, wants to win. You can see out there today when it weren't going our way, he's passionate, trying to get the players going. And that's what we need, you know, we've, we, we needed leaders and uh, ultimately today, you know, we, we still lost. But you could see, you know, it's fine margins and uh, players like Martin and, and Zach Powell will really help us achieve our goals, in my opinion. And Thames Mead, Liam, on Wednesday in the Hospital Charity Cup, is that... The cup we're going to go for, or is that one we're sort of, you know, well, how important is that to Corinne, do you think, this year? Well, it's not really important, let's be mm. honest, you know, it's the league's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. um, the London Cup we're still in, we will be going strong in that. Sure. The Hospital Cup on Wednesday, we will make changes. There's mm -hmm. lads that need game time. Um, Gianni Daly, you know, pulled out the squad this morning ill, mm -hmm. which was a big shame, scored a hat-trick last week. Um, you know, he may get involved. Andy Samo's back from his two-game ban. We've missed him massively in terms of what he gives us. Um, and there's there's other lads that have been in and around the squad that haven't had enough game time, and they'll get it. So Wednesday, you know, I'm not saying it'll be a weak side because I don't believe we've got any weak players, mm -hmm. but we will shuffle the pack. And you know, I'm still confident that we'll go through. And uh, you know, then that if a good performance will give us headaches for the game against Rustall. Liam, thanks for your time and thank you very much. Cheers, Liam. Thank Cheers. you.